am hearing that her ex-husband Kevin and Sharina are no longer together. And you know what that is. Well, come on now. The money gone. What? What you the money is going to happen? The money is gone. So I'm not going to take a lot of time because, you know, I'm getting emotional. <laughs> In the world of scandalous affairs and twisted relationships, few tales are as captivating as the saga of Kevin Hunter and Sharina Hudson. From secret rendezvous to financial betrayal, their story has captured the attention of gossip enthusiasts far and wide. But now prepare yourselves for a shocking twist, as Kevin, the once-fooled husband, takes center stage to expose the mind-boggling tactics employed by Sharina, his alleged gold-digging mistress. It's a tale of cunning deception and an alleged 200 IQ mastermind at work. When the news broke of Kevin's extramarital affair with Sharina, jaws dropped and eyebrows raised. It seemed like an open and shut case of betrayal and deceit. But little did we know that Sharina had more tricks up her sleeve than a magician at a Vegas show. Apparently, she crafted a web of manipulation that had Kevin wrapped around her perfectly manicured finger. Fans are now speculating that Sharina meticulously planned each move, ensuring that her true intentions remained hidden beneath a facade of innocence. From elaborate cover stories to strategic financial maneuvers, she played the game with precision. So what exactly did Sharina do? You know, I just felt like this wasn't for me. Let's rewind the clock back to 2007, when Kevin's affair with Sharina began. He was still married to the iconic Wendy Williams, a talk show host known for her sassy remarks and no-nonsense attitude. Now we all know that cheating is never a good idea, but Kevin took it to a whole new level of audacity. Not only did he break the sacred bonds of fidelity, but he also had the nerve to dip into Wendy's financial honeypot to fund Sharina's luxurious lifestyle. Seriously, this guy had no shame. Now let's talk about Sharina. She was Kevin's mistress turned girlfriend, and boy, did she manipulate Kevin to give her the finer things in life. With Kevin's ill-gotten funds, he sent her off to a fancy schmancy massage therapy school, envisioning her as the next big thing in the world of spa treatments. Ah, the dreams of a delusional lover. But surprise, surprise, that plan quickly went down the drain. Sharina bid farewell to her massage therapist, aspirations faster than you can say, relaxation. And she moved on to greener pastures. But did Kevin give up? Oh no, he was determined to keep Sharina living the high life, even if it meant venturing into the treacherous territory of failed business ventures. Once again, Sharina convinced him to open for her an online clothing and jewelry store called Vish. Can you guess what happened? Yep, it went down faster than a cheap knockoff Gucci bag. But Sharina wasn't one to throw in the towel easily. She then decided to convince Kevin to help her become a certified realtor. Well, you can probably guess how that turned out. Yep, it crashed and burned like a bad reality TV show audition. Undeterred by failure, Sharina had one more trick up her sleeve. She jumped on the vegan bandwagon and got Kevin to start another company for her. I mean, seriously, how many failed ventures can one person set up for their significant other? This was the fifth attempt and it was starting to look like a pattern. But wait, it gets even juicier. In a twist of irony, Kevin bought Sharina a lavish house in the same neighborhood he once shared with Wendy. Can you say awkward with a capital A? Anyway, when Kevin saw that Sharina's businesses were flopping harder than a fish out of water doing the Macarena, he decided to channel his inner Mario and open his very own Italian restaurant in 2021. So picture this. Kevin, the man whose life is slowly spiraling from high roller to destitution, decided that he had the culinary prowess to open his very own Italian restaurant. Amidst all the business failures, he proudly announced the grand opening of Loretto, a high-end eatery in downtown Brooklyn. You can't make this stuff up. With all the confidence of a self-proclaimed chef, Kevin took to Instagram to share the news. The original caption read, Time to work on my legacy. For a kid from Brownsville, Brooklyn, this is a dream come true to be part of an amazing team to create something so extraordinary. I look forward to nothing but success. Continue to thank God for the blessings. Oh, Kevin, dream big, my friend. But of course, the internet couldn't resist poking fun at Kevin's audacity. They quickly caught wind of the fact that he was claiming to build his legacy with Wendy Williams' money. One savvy commenter wasted no time in calling him out, writing, working on your legacy with Wendy's money, boy bye. Ouch. The online world can be ruthless, especially when it comes to someone using their ex-wife's funds to fuel their dreams of culinary greatness. And while Kevin was busy playing restaurateur, Sharina, the once beloved mistress turned disappearing act, was spotted cruising around town in a shiny Ferrari. Oh, the irony. And guess who footed the bill for that extravagant purchase? You got it, Kevin himself. 
It seems that even in the depths of financial despair, he couldn't resist splurging on his lady love. Talk about questionable priorities. Now you might be wondering how Kevin managed to finance all of these ill-fated endeavors. Well, hold on tight because we're about to peel back another layer of scandal. You see, Kevin was raking in a decent income as a producer on The Wendy Williams Show, but it wasn't nearly enough to sustain the extravagant lifestyle Sharina desired. So he relied heavily on Wendy's financial support. Yes, you heard that right. He was biting the hand that fed him, taking money from his ex-wife to fund his affair and finance Sharina's whims and fancies. Talk about a betrayal of epic proportions. But here's where things get really interesting. Wendy, being the savvy woman she is, had a cunning plan. She included a sneaky little clause in the alimony agreement, a ticking time bomb that Kevin never saw coming. If Wendy ever left the Wendy Williams show, she wouldn't have to pay a dime to Kevin. It was like a game of financial chess, and Wendy had just made a brilliant move. And wouldn't you know it, Wendy's health issues escalated, leading to the cancellation of her show and you guessed it, the cessation of those sweet alimony payments. Poof. Just like that, Kevin's financial lifeline vanished into thin air. It was a devastating blow to his pocketbook and it left him scrambling for answers. Enraged and desperate, Kevin couldn't keep his frustrations to himself. He lashed out at Wendy and her team during an interview, spilling the beans on his dire financial situation. Accusing them of withholding his rightful compensation, he painted himself as the victim. But let's not forget that Kevin played a significant role in his own downfall. It was a classic case of the pot calling the kettle black. As the dust settled, it became painfully clear that Kevin's life had taken a dramatic turn for the worse. He fell behind on bills, credit card debts piled up, and the man was drowning in financial quicksand. There was no lifeline in sight and the world watched as Kevin's empire crumbled around him. In a statement about his financial stress, Kevin lamented his dire situation. I have fallen behind on most of my bills, he confessed. I currently live in a community that requires payments to the homeowner association, and I'm behind on that bill. If the homeowners association fees are not paid, foreclosure will soon follow. My car insurance hasn't been paid as a result of not receiving monthly severance payments. I'm behind on credit card payments because I have no money since the severance payments were suspended. My life has been greatly affected since the plaintiff stopped making payments under our settlement agreement. The fact that I am unable to sustain my life and pay my bills in order is extremely emergent to me. I cannot pay my bills and sustain my day-to-day -day living. Oh, the woes of a fallen high roller. And if the financial woes weren't enough, the rumor mill went into overdrive with whispers that Sharina had cut ties with Kevin. Leaving him high and dry, she allegedly grew tired of his financial struggles and decided to move on to greener pastures. It was a final blow to Kevin's ego, as the woman he betrayed Wendy for seemingly abandoned him when he needed her the most. The irony was palpable. But wait, there's more. In the midst of it all, a tantalizing blind item started making its way through the grapevine, fueling the gossip fires even further. Here's a juicy excerpt from the blind item that had tongues wagging. Somewhere out there, the illiterate talk show host is having a great laugh. Her serial cheating, serial stealing ex broke up with his mistress. She was spending too much of his ill-gotten gains. The blind item subtly suggested that Sharina's appetite for the luxurious life had depleted Kevin's unlawfully acquired wealth ultimately leading her to bid farewell to their ill-fated romance. It was a fitting end to a sordid tale of deception, greed, and questionable life choices. Meanwhile, fans are not even feeling sorry for Kevin. The whole world knew this would happen. It was just a matter of when, one fan commented. Another fan added, he gets no empathy, three doses of karma, broke, homeless, and disgraced. And a third fan wrote, all that money he stole and he has no real investment, no savings, no businesses, Oh well, he can rot. Anyway, let's not forget that laughter is the best medicine, and in the case of Kevin's misadventures, it's the only thing keeping us from shaking our heads in disbelief. So here's to Kevin and his lack of financial knowledge, to Sharina and her need for money, and to the endless saga of their questionable life choices. May they continue to provide us with laughter and amusement for years to come. And with that, we come to the end of this video. Bye.